Welcome to today's stream or video. Depends where you're watching. And today I'm gonna try and play again a very very special game or very very special type of game and that is one of the classics Baldur's Gate 2. Uh, quite a lot of years ago, uh, that might be maybe maybe 20, 15 years ago, something like that, I used to play these now so-called classic RPGs, such as First Icewind Dale and Planescape Torment, and First Baldur's Gate as well. And not only these games, but First Two Fallouts, and yeah, so I played quite a lot of RPGs and I started to play Baldur's Gate 1, I think, like maybe 8 years ago, maybe more, I don't know. And it took me quite a long time to actually finish that playthrough because there were large caps. And then I finally, finally made it and... I imported the save and started game of Baldur's Gate 2. That's gonna be now maybe more than three or four years. So I am returning to quite an old save. Uh, I don't remember much, so I will need to learn how to play these games again. I'm not playing the enhanced version. This is my actually original version. Uh, on the game CD, CD version, uh, released by CD Projekt. Uh, so yeah, I will need to relearn re uh, quite a lot of stuff probably. I, I wanted to continue my last save, I'm not starting from scratch. Uh, I should be somewhere just just after the initial initial dungeon. So today it will be more about catching up, I guess, checking up on my characters, my gear. You can actually see that everyone in my party is like almost dead. I will need to remember, okay, how to put people back together as well, how to rest. And yeah, how to play the game in general. It was something to get it working, but hopefully... It will work at least somehow. I can go into the mods that I need to install and uh, how I'm actually playing the game into more detail some other time probably. But yeah, let's slowly, slowly get to it. So I might catch up first uh, checking up the journal. So let's see what happened. Uh, Let's read the journal uh, da, da. from the beginning. It's not much there. It's chapter one. My old friend Imoen has rescued me from imprisonment. So yeah, uh, you start the game and you are imprisoned. I don't remember how I was brought here. That's convenient. And neither do I know who would wish us locked up. My mind aches and my memory is haze. What has happened? Where am I? So, that was the first day. One Mirtul, 1369. Does my captor know a way for me to gain power? Iman said something odd. Our captor apparently has some insight into my condition as a child of Baal. He supposedly mentioned means of allowing me to... to tap that power. I'm in no position to question him at the moment, but I will keep it in mind for the future. Okay, so yeah, not really a lot there to go on so far. And we have quests. I have a couple of quests done, so I can remind myself what I've actually accomplished already. So yeah, this is weird how the quest is structured. That's completely different from how games are made today, right? So, find a way to release Jahira. And, sorry if I'm mispronouncing the names. I will probably learn how to pronounce them once I hear them a bit in the game again. So, yeah. 
I free Jahira from her cell with the key I found. Minsk has freed himself with his anger heightened strength, bursting from his cage. Obviously our captor underestimated the wrath of a man and his hamster. Yeah, Boo, Boo is legendary now and the easter eggs in Mass Effect, quite fun as well. Find the key to release Frenedan. Frenedan has been released from his cage with a key that I found in the main room outside his prison. So we've released Frenedan. I completely forgot that we've released someone else. Or is it... is he part of our group? I don't know. I will need to check that. No, that's Yoshimoto. This is my character. Ankis. Yeah, Ankis it is. I've been using Ankis yeah, already that many years ago. Free Relief, Re Relief from his life support. Relief, maybe, has been released from his overlong life. I took the crystal that apparently powered the device uh, that he floated in, but not before he said that it might be used to activate other servants in similar devices. Freeing the Jin. I freed the genie Malak by retrieving a flask from three dryads and giving it to him. In return, he returned some equipment that he was keeping in storage for the wizard Irenicus. So yeah, Irenicus, bad guy. I actually don't know what happened with him. I don't think we've killed him or something, but I can't remember. I'm not really sure. Don't take my word for it. So these should be, if these are done quests, so they should be open quests. So find the boy's mother inside the circus. Uh, yeah, I'm using actually a mode that enhances, increases the font size. So maybe that's why it's cut off there. Uh, a little boy is lost outside of the circus tent while his mother is apparently trapped inside. I will see if she's still within. Helping Irenicus captive dryads. In order to free the captive dryads from their imprisonment, I must bring their accords to the fairy queen, who is apparently located in an area called the Windspear Hills. So I will be going to Windspear Hills, trying to free the dryads. Investigate the circus tent. Something has occurred in the circus tent in Waukeen's Promenade. No one that goes in comes back out. The guard in front has agreed to allow me to enter to investigate. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what I've done after I've entered. Maybe I just like went somewhere else because I was almost dead. Not sure. So this is our group. We have Jahira, Minsk, Yoshimoto and myself. Myself as a mage. Let's see, this is journal, this is the map. So we are... Okay, what's this area? So we are... Uh, walk this is Walkins Promenade, Docks, Bridge, City Gates, Graveyard. So we are in the slums? Probably. In the slums now. Okay, cool. And top of the slums, basically north. So the spell store, then of the seven something. Myth rest in. Maybe I wanted to rest in the inn, possibly. Temple, Temple of Ilmater. Venetia's home. Circus that oh yeah, that's the one that we're investigating. I wanted to investigate. Exit from the district, armor and Fletcher, so yeah, another shop. Enga's shop, I can't remember who Enga is now. Adventurer Smart, Sands Former Home, Weaponsmith, Ore Merchant, Tunnel Out of Promenade probably, and District Exit. Okay, so let's see what we actually have and how we are doing. So we have Jahira, which is fighter slash druid. She has 
minus one armor. I have 3,800 gold. I can't remember if that's a lot or not. This is the color scheme, right? I could adjust that later. And these are the weapons, quick weapons, quick items. We were. So yeah, I remember in these games. So I've been juggling the inventory quite a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So let's check the weapon. This is plus one a quarter staff. Simplest and humblest of staff weapons. Length of wood, high quality, imbued with magical properties. So its damage is yeah. I when I've been playing these games, these D and D based games, I'm not that familiar with the D and D rule set. But I've been actually able to go through the games, even though I haven't been like that familiar with it. So yeah, this should be right. One dice plus one, right? So one dice, six sided, plus one. So from two to seven, right? Maybe. <laughs> Ako, Theiko, T H A K O. Uh, I can't remember what it is anymore. <laughs> I should probably Google it out. Damage type, it's crushing. Speed factor is three. Need proficiency, well, need, but staff, two handed, requires five strength. Uh, I'm not sure if there is any help like in the game. Probably not. Yeah, we can put some stuff on the ground if you want to. So this is what this is. Potion of extra healing. Okay, we can drink it. Uh, restores 27 hit points. Instantaneous and the potion is destroyed in the process. So we have three on Jahira. And we have protection from electricity. Uh, how much? The effect is not permanent, however, and will wear off after 12 hours. So, resistance 50%. Hmm, range. Probably for targeting one creature. Not usable by. Everyone can use this. Nice. So we can't actually edit to the book, right? Uh, I will need to figure out how to add stuff to the book. Jahiares Ring of Protection. Ring of the Princess. Uh, armor class plus one. Saving throws plus one. I don't know, that sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, Splint Mail. Armor class four. It was like higher or lower the better. Lower probably, I think, if I remember correctly. Eight strength, okay. Uh, not usable by Bar Druid Mage Thief. Yeah, I would like to be mage in a battle arm. <laughs> okay, braces of defense. Armor class eight, weight two. And help of Balduran. Armor class bonus one. Hit points max. Okay, that I understand. Saving throws plus one, nice. This one I will need to, again, find out. Protects against critical hits. And again, can't use it. Oh, where is Imoen actually? What happened to her? I can't remember. She's probably still captive. Yeah, we will see. These are the occurrence yeah, for the quest. Uh, we have arrow of biting, part arrow tipped, mm, nasty poison infiltrate the victim, so damage, 1d6, missile piercing, 30% of total maximum hit points within 20 seconds after contact unless safe versus death. Oh, no wait. We need bow and cool. So this is druid, so yeah, useless for Jahira. So I could probably do it somewhere else. And we have short bow, speed factor six, two-handed weapon, 
Okay, so not for Jahir either. And Dagger Plus. Okay, Piercing. One-handed weapon. Okay, no, only Cleric can't use it. So that's Jahira. Now Minsk, who is like much, much, much worse. And he's a ranger. Minsk actually a ranger. Okay. So for him it would make sense to have a bow. And the arrows. And Yush is bounty hunter. Okay, so bow as well. So ranger. Let's see. Armor class 1. <laughs> 9 hit points remaining. Uh, we have full quiver of normal arrows and some quick weapons. We have a mace. Then we have the sword of chaos. Sarevox, Sarevox, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brother of, oh, brother of Ankis, wow. Statistics, abilities, each hit. Each hit drains one hit point from the target and transfer it to the wielder. This will not heal beyond the wielder's maximum. It's fine. One dice then, plus two. Cool. So basically vampiric blade. Two-handed sword requires 14 strength. Yeah, and what about the bow? It's composite long bow. Damage plus one, weight, speed factor. Okay, so it plus one's probably damage to the arrows, right? Maybe. 18 strength even. It has abilities? Oh yeah, yeah, the select item. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. If male of the dead plus two. Okay, male plus two, male of the dead. A mage can make an extremely effective assassin as Warusta illustrated over 400 years ago. Or mage? Oh, we will see. No, can't use. Mm, yeah, armor class three, requires strength. Helm of Infravision. Is it just Infravision? Uh, armor class bonus? None. Protect against critical. And hit a Grand Swearer Infravision up to... Okay. Better than nothing and protects against the hits. That's fine. And what about the Gradle of Bluntness? What does it do? Armor class bonus plus four versus Blunt weapons. Ha. Huh. Give boo. Just as always, you try to grab him. <laughs> so yeah, he takes one of the quick items. We have potion of healing and potion of fire breath. The throat, so that it's capable of giant breath. Giant breath of fire spewing forth in an arc. User does not drink this potion, but instead uses it on an enemy. The effect does 6... 6d10 damage. To the target with save. Is it like we throw 6 times? With... Hmm. 10 sided dice? Maybe. Again, I might like Google Google actually around and finally try to learn these a bit. There's potion of extra healing. Okay, 27, so this is only 9 hit points. And this is potion of extra healing, again 27. This is arrow plus 1. And your bow, yeah. Yoshimoto Bounty Hunter. Okay. He has only leather armor. Okay, armor class. It's higher up than the armors before, so this is worse. 
Mage can't use it, so I can't use it. Yoshimato's katana. It's what 1d10. Okay. And a short bow. And this one is Elixir of Health. Powerful healing mixture. First it cures all poisons, then once the system has been purged, 10 hit points. Okay. So removing poison. Nice. And finally, my character. I'm using a slink. And just a normal slink. Because as a mage, I need to stand behind our line. Oh yeah, so yeah, actually, yeah, the lower armor class, the better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why she has it actually as low. Because, yeah, this is four and... Oh, I don't know. I will need to figure it out again. I have just a quarter staff, the normal one. Well, I don't want to be like on the front line anyway. Meta spell influence amulet. Influence the amplifier. And that spell casting the amulet of meta spell is highly sought. So what it does is memorize one extra second level spell. Nice. And we have wand of magic missiles. One magic missile will strike a target. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the vents have limited amount of usage. Uh, the target creature must be seen. Okay. Uh, we have Wand of Monster Summoning. Uh, again, I can't remember what 12 HD of monsters is. Summon 20 HD of monsters, 20 feet. Not usable by, okay, quite a lot of classes. Oil of speed, what does it do is... Movement rate, and character normally able to attack once in a round, attacks twice. This does not reduce spell casting time, however. Unfortunately. Five turns. And that's it. So, for some reason I have some arrows, but I have Bomber Jewel of the Equalizer. Does it do anything? No, no, no. Probably something that we want to sell. Oh, no, this is part of Equalizer. So known as the Sword of Neutrality. I like mine was from the neutral. I, okay, should I not probably sell it and keep it? Uh, not identified. I have gondol pantaloons from the first game. But unfortunately not identified. Can I identify something? Do you wish to identify the item? Spell scroll. Yeah, unfortunately. I think sometimes you can just identify by opening it if you have large enough wisdom, but nope. Uh, not happening now. This wand again. This protection scroll. Potion of Master Thievery. Uh, another wand. I'm carrying quite a lot of wands. Wands, wands. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we have actually. And. I am level 9. Number of attacks 1. Lore 46. Reputation. Average reputation? Saving throws. Yeah, I've never ever played these games that like focusing on the statistics that much. So I probably like am adding points completely wrong, who knows? Uh, dexterity, yeah, constitution, intelligence, though, I've put some into intelligence, or something to wisdom, not that much charisma, though. Yeah, just a half elf, not full elf, I'm, I was playing usually humans, yeah. Uh, the description. Oh, yeah. We have Jahira, fight a druid.
Ranger, Bounty Hunter. He has average, open locks, find traps. I will need to actually uh hiding in shadows. Set traps even. And proficiency is katana, dagger, short bow. Missile piercing. What about Minsk? Yeah, axe, sword, mace, longbow. And Jahira. Club, scimitar. Water staff. Yeah, she's using one. What did I put my probably into slink, right? I wouldn't be surprised. Uh Dart and slink, yeah, yeah, proficiency. Yeah, everyone's leveled up. Ooh. A mage book. Jahia. Okay, she doesn't have anything? I thought she has. Oh, that's gonna be scrolls. My mage book. Let's see how I have. Okay, I am only level 5. Well. So what I have memorized, magic missiles, what's this, chromatic orb, causes a two foot diameter sphere to appear, uh, inflicts one of to four damage and blinds the target for one round, uh, one to four and inflicts pain, heals one to six, okay, so it scales, that's cool. I think this scales as well, right? How many missiles there is? Each missile inflicts, yeah, yeah. Four at seventh level and maximum of five missiles. Level nine. Uh, a grease. A rare if effect and what does it do? Cover surface, slippery layer, greasy nature. When the spell is cast, must have save where the spell or slip and skid, unable to move quickly. Those who successfully save can reach the nearest non gris surfers by the end of the round. Those who remain in the area are allowed to saving throw each round until they escape. And... 1. Identify. Uh, yeah, magic missiles, I've been using them a lot, lot, lot. Yeah, yeah. So that's level one. Level two is Stinking Cloud. I think it's poison, right? Creates a billowing mass of nauseous vapors up to 30 yards away from his position. Any creature caught within the cloud must roll a successful saving throw, versus poison, poison, or be sent reeling and fall down for. Okay, reeling and fall down. Up to two rounds. Uh, but don't have no damage, right? It doesn't mention any damage. Just falling down. Um, glitter dust. A cloud of glittering golden particles. Uh, or be blinded. All within the area are covered by the dust, which cannot be removed and continues to sparkle until it fades. This reveals invisible creatures. The dust fades. Okay, revealing invisible. Nice. Oh, Melv's acid arrow. Uh, this is one. This is the damage spell on this level. Has uh, no attack or damage bonus. Inflicts, yeah, 2d4. Okay. There is no splash damage for another round, for every level, three levels. And vocalize. So 
this spell can cast spells with a variable component without having to vocalize. Effectively, this spell cancels the effect of silence and makes the recipient immune to it for the spell's duration. Okay, not sure why I thought it's gonna be useful. Uh, this is mirror image. Yeah. Impossible for opponents to be certain which are illusions. When an image is struck by a melee or missile attack, magical or otherwise it disappears, but any other existing images remain intact. It's important to note that this will not protect the caster against every attack. Oh yeah, because they can... They can guess. Knock. What does knock do? Opens locked, held or wizard locked doors. Okay. Hmm... Web. Maybe I should be using web. What, what does it do? The web spell covers maximum era. Cast master roll saving throw with a minus two penalty. Reach is stuck in the webs, unable to move. Cool. Oh yeah, my favorite fireball. Explosive. 1d6 for each level. There was damage proportional to the level of the wizard who cast it. Uh, of damage for each level of experience of the spellcaster. The wizard points his finger and speaks. Yep. The creature su monster summoning. Yeah, I, I used to cast yeah, monsters and fireballs. See in his mind the geographical features and buildings. He's currently exploring. It extends to greater range. Okay, cannot reveal. Old person. Place for one turn. Oh, haste. Okay. I'm quite happy with summoning and this. This is summoning two right monsters, yeah, and greater mali malison. Adversely affect all the saving throws of his enemies. Okay, why did I pick up over ice storm? When this spell is cast, great hailstones pound down for round, okay. Remains within the effect, damage each round, okay. I can myself changing to that spider spawn. Conjure several spider eggs into existence, quickly producing fully grown spiders that remain under the wizard's telepathic control. Type of spiders has to appear depend on the level. Giant face, okay, sword spider. That the spiders of the proper type will appear instead of just one. Hmm. Okay, so either that or minor sequencer to store spells and access them from the special ability button. Okay. I will keep creatures, but I might put Blizzard there or Ice Storm. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. More creatures, and that's it. So on lower levels, I'm fine with this. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I want to look nice. I could another arrow there. Cool. And means okay. Doesn't have anything learned. And Jahira. Healing, healing, healing. This is Entangle. Entangle creatures within the era. Oh yeah, they can still attack. Good to know. Doom. 
minus two penalty to all his rolls. This includes Thaco, Thaco, zero, Thaco. I call it Thaco. <laughs> okay, a level two. Bark skin. A tough. Okay. This is charm person or memo. Resist fire, okay, resistance. Uh, call lightning. Okay, only outside. Uh, greater healing, M medium wounds, yeah. And what this? Dispel magic. Magical effects upon anyone within the area. Effects given from spells, potions, etc. It does not, however, affect enchanted magical items or spell protections such as spell turning and spell deflection. Magic being dispelled, okay. Level 4, that's mental domination, what does it do? Must make safe. The priest entering his mind. The effect of these spells are similar to the wizard spell domination. Notably, this spell gives the priest no access to the subject's thoughts, memory or sensory apparatus. The priest simply is able to command the subject to perform certain tasks or functions during spell duration. Control the subject, the priest must be within the rate within range and must be able to see the subject. This control will last until dispelled or for duration. And creatures, okay. And creatures. Oh. So that's it. Um now I'm quite familiar with with our group of adventurers again. And the question is what to do now? I might want to go to the inn, right? And probably heal up. Well, this is Hess. Has more than two gold a good business to you, my lady. I do not recognize you, I think. It would be impertinent for Hess to inquire as to your name. Not at all, I'm Johira. Or I'm not interested in divulging my name. Just show me what you have to sell. Okay, that's seller. Uh, well met, Jahira. And peril to you. Feel free to pursue my goods and ask questions naturally. Show me services. I could find a suitable inn. I'm looking for quality goods. You direct me to temple. Let's check what he has. Yeah. Antidote, studied letter, chainmail, small shield, bolts and arrows, arrows, scimitar. So, does he have like better bullets or better arrows? Not really. Otherwise, it would be worth buying. So I think this is the inn, right? So as mentioned, I would like to heal. So yeah, this is the inn. I don't think I've spoken with people inside. I don't know. As the map is revealed, oh maybe I did. Let's check it out. Nothing. Okay, who's that? Let's talk. My time is quick, so Count Claylan, why don't you stop by the manor? I could show you my collection of sonistic statuary. Debutant Alicia, my parents would be delighted to come over. Thank you, Count. Oh, he was talking to her. I didn't reason to interrupt their plans. I know you come alone. <laughs> If you would like my alert. Okay. Unfortunate debutant. With the Countess away, you shall be most welcome at my manor. <laughs> okay, I see what's going on. See what's going on there. Debutant? Maybe we could tell her. How do you approach your debutant Becker? My father should have you flocked. Okay. He's not nice. 
Far too many beggars about these days. Raise the taxes and force them to work, I say. Okay, raise the taxes, force them to work. Lady Lassala. Why must this inn always be crowded with brainless debutantes? Have you seen Alicia? I've seen her, yes. Who it is? Oh, please, excuse me, I'm too busy to speak with you. Yes, I've seen her. She's foolish to even be speaking with that shark claimant. He has a nose for idiot girls. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've seen that. He will tire of her company within a week and leave her heartbroken. He did the very same thing to me. The man is a swine. Leave me now. I need to arrange to have his wine mixed with the slop water. I'm not sure what the slop water is. Can we warn her? Well, she doesn't deserve it though. And do we want to warn him? No, 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 we don't want to bore him. Or maybe? So I said to the Baron, honest listener, you must learn to control yourself. Oh, he's talking... He's ignoring us completely. Uh, thank you so much for follow. CG... CG Ribo 1? Sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm kind of expert of on doing that. So... Welcome to the stream, me streaming, well, me playing classic RPG after a long, long time in a, a quite a, quite many years actually. So, re learning a new basically. Well, hope you will enjoy. If you are like really, really skilled player of these RPGs, maybe, maybe <laughs> you can help me a bit as well. So, I hope... Uh, you will enjoy the stream and I hope you are enjoying your Saturday. How are you doing in general? You can see I'm playing this game again, so I am doing quite good. Not in the game, I mean in general. <laughs> really, so you are so brave. Well, yes, I couldn't let that ogre push people about like serves. Hmm. Yeah, so we won't warn him that they will mix something into his wine. That really, really bad kind of water. But now we are in the inn, and what I wanted to do is... Oh, this is Pagni. Good, good tidings to you, young wayfarer. Welcome to the Mithrest Inn. How might I be of serv assistance? I wish to peruse your selection of services, if I may. I wish nothing at this time. Is there out of interest that you might tell me interesting goings on? So first try to learn what's going on. Nothing of interest, ma'am. This is quite place and our customers prefer it that way. Yeah, we've seen when we try to talk to the customers. May I see a list of services? Okay, yeah. Let's go let's go for the list of services. Uh so we can buy Okay, a room. Or we can actually drink. Yeah, I forgot that you can actually drink in these games. You haven't played Baldur's Gate? Okay. Oh, uh, in many years, you mean. <laughs> oh, you are getting hyped for the three. Yeah, basically, they, uh, them announcing the three, uh, me seeing the, the trailer for it, and I was like, okay. I still haven't finished Baldur's Gate. I need to finish it. Well, it would be good if I would finish it before it comes out. I'm not counting the beta that's supposed to be like this month or next month. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not trying to get more information about Baldur's Gate 3 at this time. I guess I'm trying to keep myself from more spoilers. I've seen their first reveal and the combat. That's when did, uh, like two months ago or something like that. Uh, and I really liked how the game looked and I've seen the screenshots. So that was really nice. But probably I will try to s keep myself from like thinking in, you know, and researching uh, a bit more. That's how I prefer it. But yeah, getting hyped. Uh, do you plan to actually play it in the early access? Or... Are you gonna wait like for the full, full complete, uh, complete game? 
So I think I mentioned I want to rest a bit uh, because I want to heal up as much as I can. I think I can afford it as well because yeah, I have 3000 gold. This would cost 16. I'm not sure if it's per party member or just for the group. All equal prices, filled, okay, silks, restful as a week in a less room, nice. Okay, only royalty could afford it, afford it. or the people that play the first Baldur's Gate. And what about the drink? Uh, wine, winter wine, golden sands, dragon's beer, bitter black ale. Dragon's beer. Okay, what's the rumor that we are getting? The circus in Woking's promenade has been shut down due to some form of accident which traps all who enter. The main tent is closed to access from the outside. Oh yeah, we know. We have it as a quest. Oh, no early access for you as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's like the best approach. I... I don't know, I prefer it like more and more, not to really research the stuff. Games, uh, the same with Cyberpunk uh, as well. I've seen the first uh, Nice City Wire, and then I was like, okay, the game looks really amazing, at least for me. I see it's gonna be really, really thought through, lots of details there. Yes, I rented that, right? Hmm. How does it work? I can't remember. Did I actually rest it up? Or do I need to go to the room? Okay, let's try it again. I ate those money grubbing scum. So if I rent... You may not rest when your party is scattered. Okay, okay. Fair enough. I forgot about this. So yeah, that goes for Cyberpunk. And it goes for movies more probably as well, even though I still watch uh, like teasers and trailers. But I should probably limit that as well. So yeah, it's been years since I've played Baldur's Gate. Uh, this is my really really old save I'm actually continuing, even though it's like save from the beginning. I think I started Baldur's Gate 2 maybe like four years ago and then really didn't go back to it after doing the first uh, dungeon and my, uh, this is like my safe transfer from the first Baldur's Gate as well so if I would like think when I started the journey through Baldur's Gate it might be like maybe even like eight years who knows something crazy like that okay do we want to rest I wish to rest because I'm completely like Everyone in the party is almost dead. So have you played the other other games uh, as well? I mean Icewind Dale, Planescape Torment, Temple of Elemental Evil. Not sure if there is like other other one that I would be forgetting. No, I think these are these are it. We have now okay 85 so it was 16 for all of the all of us we have rested healing spells cast on rest really something got casted okay how much we healed up minsk is still quite low yoshimoto is still quite low as well so what i've been using usually or what i've been doing i think was casting spells and using the spells and using the healing spells uh, before resting again that's how I was playing I've never really like studied the uh, rules or rule book so and I was able to play through these games without it so maybe I'm to prove that it's not 100% necessary. Vita, 
Okay, so that were all the healing spells that Jahira had. I don't think... I don't think I have any healing spells. Let me check. Nope. No healing there. But what I should consider probably would be renting again. Because I want to heal up. I really dislike being like uh, so low. I'm not sure if it's like better to go to temple though. I will need to figure it out again. Rest. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. So Jahira is forty-one. Probably haven't rested, right? I rent it. Rest now. Okay, now. Now, that's gonna be correct. And she should have the spells back again. Nice. You've been replaying Baldur's Gate for near a decade. Wow, yeah. <laughs> the games are actually huge. Yeah. Oh, you. but you finished a couple of times. Yeah, so you've been trying multiple times. So, yeah, I've only like finished all of the games once, so I finished Planescape once and the first Icewind Dale with the data, uh, data disk Heart of Winter Heart of Winter, yeah so I finished them only once and same with Baldur's Gate uh, there's probably like a huge repli replayability I guess but I, yeah I like prefer to, okay I've played this game now let's have a look uh, and see what Baldur's Gate's uh, about and when I finished that I was like okay let's go for the second one so yeah only like single playthrough so this is my first canonical playthrough of Baldur's Gate playing as a mage that's what I've did uh, basically in all of these D&D uh, games I think Taking mage. Oh, usually mage is the class that I play in RPGs. I think I could rent once more. Okay, I'm burning through the money. Not sure if I should be doing that. <laughs> okay. Let's say, let's say, this is good enough. Oh, I could, I could cast a bit of spells there. Anyway, just now, just to heal up, Minsk. I really like that he has boo. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, really glad that you enjoy enjoy the commentary. And yeah, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the follow. And yeah, get a good night's rest and sleep. And see you sometime. Sometime next time. Bye bye. How oh, Minsk is almost healed up then? Oh yeah, just six remaining. The spell actually probably heals for 6, right? Okay, I can't check it like this. I need to go for book then. And see. And it heals. Okay, 8 points. So maybe we could use it on Yoshimoto. As Yoshimoto has more HP missing. Oh yeah, greater heal on Yoshimoto for sure. Mints, uh, he might be our frontline as well. Yoshimoto, well, potentially. 
We will see. But yeah, now I'm quite happy. Uh, my group is no longer dying. Let me just quickly check. I'm always like going through everything. Well, I'm trying. And yeah, I will just save before we venture forth. And yeah, this empty slot. Yeah. I don't have that many saves. Okay, no, 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 I have some. Cool. Yeah, I'm saving quite a lot usually in these games. I am. So what would be... It's... <laughs> okay. My actually key binding, I have special key binding so I can move. So I don't have like A, W, S and D available. So this name will be really, really uh, weird. So maybe rest. So just red. <laughs> yeah, uh, because I'm using enhanced version and I'm playing in window mode. I'm using actually a key bind for W A S A D, so I can move move my map using that because uh, it is usually uh, using my mouse actually doesn't work in all directions. So yeah, bit of inconvenience there, but it will be worth it for this game. Ooh, who's there? What's there? Is this different? In okay. So that's why. I've where I've been in this inn and then I went to the next one for some reason oh fine specimen <laughs> talking about Minsk of course I'm only for boo and my witch yeah Minsk actually taken and he's faithful uh, patron but me and ale yeah I I hear that someone was killed in the circus tent and that's why nobody goes in. Well, probably good thing that nobody goes in. The problem is no one gone as well. Gone, gone out. Alatello de Bonito. Alatello de Bonito. Hello, hello. Welcome to... Uh, what time is it? It's evening. Then welcome to the evening showing of the talents of Alatello de Bonito. He's from Italy. A rousing wave of indifference from the crowd yet again. Oh well. <laughs> a rousing wave of indifference. Oh well, if I let such things bother me, I would have given up the stage years ago. I spared the wishes of most of my audience, unfortunately. <laughs> At least the occasional dwarf applauds. Well, doesn't swear and leave anyway. <laughs> Let's see. A tale of family woe to tantalize your tears and tempt your time and interest so he's like an actor or yeah or like yeah kind of actor raised of spells and casting well but always one thing better to think of nights and days of yore to leave the ropes that that fetter a wizard prone to song and prose though oft accused of failing i shall sing despite the odds atricia Will you shut your bloody ma shut it shut your bloody wailing? This reminds me of uh, Asterix and Obelix comics, where there is like the troubadour, right, a bard, and no one can hear him, and everyone's like swearing and needs to silence him because he's really bad. So this might be similar similar case. Alatello de Bonito, <laughs> well finished, Mrs. Patricia. You've a fine ear for rhyme, though. I would hope you would be more supporting of your own employees. So he has employment. It's nice. I support you sticking to sp spells and figures. To spells. Okay. You are security and financial. Security and financial advisor. Not the entertainment. Hit the road if you want a forum for your singing. So he's security here. Very well, Mrs. Patricia, and his mage based on the rope as well. Thank you for your indulgence thus far. So, 
I would regale you with songs of, of daring, my lady, but I fear the room is a touch hostile towards mages that encroach into bardic territory. But there could have been some nice mage to mage discussion. What will actually happen if if as mage I will try to start the conversation? I would trigger with songs of daring, my lord, but I fear the room. Okay. So in this case it just I'm using Jahira. Does it make sense? She has charisma of 15. Uh, okay. Yeah, best charisma. That's why I'm using her. Oh yeah, it does make sense. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as Who's that one? Peasant. Just peasant. I was told that yet another priest went missing. This time it was a priest of Talos. So... Multiple missing priests. I thought that the Storm Lord's minions were behind the disappearances. I suppose I was wrong. So, Storm Lord may be Talos? That's what the connection I'm making there. And might you be Commoner, good business to you, my lady. I don't recognize you. You are new to Atkatla? I'm actually not sure what city we are in. Is it at Katla? At Katla. I've no wish to speak with you, woman. Hmm. No, no. We are in fact here, new. Welcome to the city. Do you need assistance finding your way around? Decent inn for shop. Magical equipment. Um. Uh, oh, thank you. I guess was yeah, just like helping me around okay i haven't been in here because there is still a uh, fog of war hello. patricia hello 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 what kind of dialect is that it's about time some other woman women came into me in came into me in i've seen to get lately are stupid males loud brash and disgusting Bah, what can I get for ye? Probably not Cockney, right? <laughs> Why exactly is this place called the Ten of the Seven Veils? Okay, this is Ten of Seven Veils. You must hear things. Mind if I ask a question or two? Oh, well, yeah, let's learn why it's called that way. Well, the truth be told, me late husband, rest his soul called the place the seven veils he had them belly dancers working here back then and while i let them go i didn't have the heart to change the name but a little okay so no more belly dancers i would be interested to know if like the amount of people coming in changed after she kicked them out the same drunken sorts keep coming in here though oh, okay so now change it's like they aren't even aware the belly dancers have left. <laughs> okay, they answered my question straight away. But I don't know how my poor Richard put up with their like. Uh, she doesn't mean the dancers though. I can't imagine how he <laughs> put up with them. You must hear things. I don't go listening much gossip. Though the men here yak more uh, on other people's business than any women I've seen. But he surely can ask miss. So we are looking for a friend who has been taken captive by the Cowlet Wizards. Perhaps, okay, so that's what happened to Imwen. Cowlet Wizards, so not only one, but multiple. Perhaps you've heard where they keep their prisoners. Do you know anything of the Shadow Thieves here in Atkatla? Shadow Thieves. Hmm. Let's see if she answers our question. Nay, I don't listen to any hogwash about wizards and such. Any word that comes from the men here is only mandarings about things they don't understand at any rate. And the shadow thieves? I hear news that there be a war on everywhere in the city. The shadow thieves have themselves a rival, although word about them is a far-fetched as you can imagine. So rival for shadow thieves. The guards of the city ignore it well enough for their own safety, and if once as smart as them, you would do the same. Involving yourself with 
will only get ya killed. Get ye killed? That's my thoughts. So, yeah. Doesn't really. She didn't really. Don't does that much. Can I go in? Okay. He doesn't mind, probably. Nothing there. Hey. We are making money back. I'm not sure how stealing works now. I can't remember. But she didn't see us, so we are good. Oh, one piece of gold. And who's that? Amnish guard. In the name of the council, you are I coming with me order. to me room, or you are under arrest. <laughs> arrest. <laughs> no, I don't think we are going with him to his room. Perhaps you should go and soak your head within a bucket, guard, before you attempt to address me again. Okay, he's going. Elsewhere. <laughs> Is he walking like a guard as well? Okay, and what about that one? Who's that? Just a commoner or? Just a commoner. On joining the army, covered. I'm here and, and eager to sign up. Yeah, well. We have different stuff to do than just like joining an army. Okay, I can venture for it. Oh, only Jahira there. As I would have done. The far oh. Without ye bother on me. That's what I didn't want to happen. Only Jahira being there. Anyway, main car Pebble Crusher. Pebble Crusher. Okay. Like a couple of years back, I wouldn't probably get these names. Now I finally like. I get them. <laughs> if it aren't be a puny half elf. Dressed up as a mighty adventurer, I would say. Haha, <laughs> so he sounds like a dwarf. Did your mama let you out from under her skirt, little one? Best you be running back now. Hmm, he doesn't like elves then. Ha! Huh. My life orc slicer. Uh, is he over there? Probably, yeah. I've seen him. Hick, that'd be good chest, man, car, my friend. <laughs> Okay. Oh, good chest, says Smelly. A good chest, he says. Okay, so at least three. Uh, Amon. You tell your stinking, fart-smelling imp to stop calling me Smelly. The name be Smell of Orc Slicer. Orc Slicer. If he does say it again, I'll smash him into lumpish, impish goo. How come he has imp? Papa, Papa, Smelly is threatening me again. <laughs> He's... Okay, calling Papa, okay. And Smelly again. He is threatening. Sorcerous Amon. Sorcerer. Calm yourself, Pookie. As for you, you barbarian knucklehead. Threaten my familiar once again. Familiar, it sounds something like from Golden Compass. And you'll spend the rest of the evening as a toad. Am I understood? Also, he specializes in these spells. Creating familiar creatures. Changing people to toads. What? What? Probably like that. What? You dare besmirch the honor of Smell of Orc Slicer? I will. He changed to toad. Enough, blast it. I tire of your bickering. Now, as for you, little half elf, you'd best take yourself somewhere where you're more welcome. This bar be big enough only for us and nay more. No need to get upset. Hmm, maybe we should talk. How about I buy you a drink? There is no need for us to be on harsh terms. I'll watch it, dwarf. I'll take no your insults for long. So, do we want to be good guys? Try to get to know them. Uh, I don't want to be buying them drinks. Let's go. Off you go, cur. Hang your tail, twixt your legs, and scurry off like the cowardly dog that you are. Okay. 
We are not troublemakers, otherwise we sh wouldn't let them like talk to us this way. Mm. It doesn't matter. The name doesn't matter. I mentioned I'm missing some vital keys, so... Uh, let's get the party going. And let's explore the rest of the room. I am ready. Oh, they are four. So this one is Brennan. Mankar. Malif. This is the imp. Spooky. Spooky. So can we actually... Let's talk to this one. He didn't say anything. I would apologize for my comrades, but they represent a great profit for me and my tiefly abilities. Okay, so this is a group of adventurers as well, but probably not as good as ours. Well, I mean, good in alignment, not in abilities. <sighs> it would be better if you left, I suppose. Mengar is always serious with his. Let's talk to him again then. I told you, big conker, I'm not to be bothering me again. Unless you've courage enough to raise your hand, you'll best do as I say, flee while you can. Alright, let's go. Can we actually talk to the, the rest of the guys? Be gone, smell of orc slice, or be gorging himself mightily on mat and ale and cannot be bothered to talk. The mage? will be on your way, as Menkar suggests. I'm Sorceress Amon of the Purple Brotherhood. He should change his robe to purple, I think, then. And I stand behind my Dwaran comrade, and I'm not to be treated lightly. And Spooky? He, I stole something from Smelly. I did. What? What did you steal from Smelly with devilish imp? Stole Smelly's brains while he's sleeping. Smelly won't miss them. Blast you, imp. I shall grind you into powder if you continue these taunts. And my name is Smelly uh, Smeluf. Okay. It stays smelly. I can see. So, let's actually resave here. See if there is something to discover in. Yes. Okay, that's locked. Probably unlocking it would make them that happy. Let me try. I will save load if needed. But let's see what they think if I will try to unlock. Find traps. Thieving and... Stealth. Okay, that failed. He's not Imwen. Okay. Fair enough. Let us not be thieves. Let's go. We've not become thieves by circumstance. Okay. So, it is done. yeah, I've probably explored everything here, but let's check anyway. If shape changed into animal form, your character cannot no initiate dialogue. I it. Such as Pierce magic, okay. We, what's this door? The store behind this door is small and sells only sundries, trinkets, foodstuffs, and other goods of no real interest or value. Welcome to my humble establishment. Let's check out what. Oh, protection, protection. Trees, armor, color spray. Protect evil. Flame, haste. Wow, I shouldn't have been spending that much. It cost four. Four. Fifteen hundred. 
and he could identify something for us. Oh, that's what I was I'm supposed waiting. to be doing using my identify spell. And I was resting and I haven't been. Okay, let's check this out. This is the Wand of Lightning. What does it do? Lightning Bolt. Damage 3d6. Saving against the wands. Nice. Oh, that's yeah. Yeah. I haven't been playing for a long time, otherwise I would remember. So, this is the map. Let's check the stuff. Spell store, 10 of 7. It rests. Temple. Let's check the temple. I can actually check the prices for the next time. How much the healing is. You require nothing more? You are more than welcome. Greetings, my sister, and welcome to the humble abode of the one who endures. Ilmater shelters all in need and suffers himself for others' pain. Uh, let's see the services. We can head donate. It can be dispelling magic, curing wounds, remove cursing, storage, greater restoration. How much is it? 750? Life energy back to an energy drained character. All drained levels are restored. Um, okay. Resurrection, this is probably gonna be even more expensive. Not buying that though. You, you can tell us something patience. about Ailmater though. Let's learn a bit. Is the god of compassion and endurance, my sister. We care for the lost children of the city. Such is the crying god's will. Mm -hmm. So again, similar store as that first one. So much comes back to Seems like we for this era. There is a tent that we can go in. And that's the that's where the quest is. I could consider doing that. Uh finally going in. Greetings, good customer. Hi, good business once again. You. Mira always remembers a face. What can I do for you today, my lady? Okay, business again. Tell me what can I find an inn. Do you know anything of the Cowlot Wizards? The wizards? This red ink to even discuss them. Okay, red ink, she means blood, right? Magic is foreclosed here in arm. Um, okay, arm. Um, foreclosed magic. And I know little of the wizards and their kind. Thank you for the information. Man, I see what you have in stock. I could find an inn. Uh, of the Shadow Thieves. No, it's Atkatla. Shadow Thieves, I know little lady and consider myself up a peril for the luck. All the crime in the city can be attributed to them. Okay, so they are a bad organization. I'm looking for special equipment. Okay, let's see what she has. No cobalt when it comes to quality and affordability. Oh, weapons. Morning star, morning flail, dagger, dart, slink, scimitars. Nothing that really amazing. I can sell this though. Sunstone, potions, bullet plus one, bullet plus one. Okay, are you kidding me? 464. That's why I'm not using them. That's why I'm not using them that lightly. Because it's it's price is crazy. If plate mail, armor class three. How much does it cost? Eight seventy. What's the equipment there? Not plate mail, not plate mail, but armor class three as well. So, not better. And this has armor class 8, but probably plate mail wouldn't be usable by Yoshimoto. Let's Anything check it out. You need, 
I can likely provide, I assure you. Mm. There must be reason why I haven't bought it yet. Oh yeah, can't. And yeah, we don't need it for Minsk. So maybe we could really investigate what's happening in the tent. For the glory of arms. We're still planning on going inside. I didn't think so. Well, we are. Just make sure. We have a safe. And now. Oof, we are healed up. We have spells. Ah, yes. Let's see what's happening. With all its people and their accumulated wealth, yes? A sign states this device was built to travel underwater. Strange concept as that might be. <laughs> Submarine there. Now we are in the tent. Let's see what's there. Upon stepping through the tent door, the world seems to shift. When it settles, you find yourself standing at one end of a bizarre walkway as the wind blows over you. A massive tower rises on the other side of the bridge. The tent door is nowhere to be found, you shall have to go forward. So we can't go? You can go no longer see the tent door. Shall have to go forward and look for another exit. Okay, so let's see. It is done. Ooh. Genie. Is that a genie that I freed? If oh I see a wayfarer has come to amuse Kala. You must answer a riddle, naturally. And I will allow you to pass this bridge. Are you ready to hear it? So he kind of functions like a troll, right? Because you have usually trolls on the bridges. So, and why would I want to pass over this bridge? That's a good question. I would prefer to know who this Kalach is before I play any of your games. Uh, because it's a symbolic of your progression to enlightenment and understanding, fool. Are you ready to proceed? I prefer to know who this Kalak is before I play. Kalak does not reveal himself to those who are not worthy. Are you ready to begin? So he doesn't consider us worthy. Uh, worthy. Wealthy maybe, not worthy though. So that's not nice. So let's go. Excellent. With, with an X, not, not double G. A princess is as old. Okay princess is as old as the prince will be as the prince will be as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess age was half the, the half the sum of their present age which of the following then could be true okay I'm tempted to start scribbling it down, but uh, let's not do it. Let's try to roleplay it. <laughs> no. Well, so there is princess and a prince. Princess is as old as the prince will be. So you have age of princess, age of prince. Is as old as the prince will be when the princess when the princess is twice as old so princess should be at least like either higher age or same age um, when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess age was half the sum of their present age okay so princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess age was half the sum of their present age so 
their present age and we take half um when we take half of their sum of the present okay I might just guess. So let's see. The prince is 20 and the princess is 30. Does it work or not? So. This is. That would be 50. 50 their current age. Be 50. So half would be 25. When the princess is twice as old as the prince was, when the princess age was half, half the sum, okay, half the sum of their present age. Okay, math. Why the game tortures me like that? <laughs> So that would be 50 and half would be 25. Half the sum of their present age, so 25. When the princess was 25. Um, and she's twice as old, that would be... Yeah, but it's some of there too. Oh my god. Would they be the same age? That would be too easy, right? Uh, maybe. If they would be the same age. I'm tempted just to guess. Or I will say, surely I don't know. Let's see what happens. You will get nowhere, my friend, if you do not make an attempt. Being as benevolent as the mighty Galak, however, will allow you another opportunity. Okay. Here is it then, my friend. The poorest have it. The poorest have it. The richest need it. But if either was to eat it, they would certainly perish. Tell me what it is. The poorest have it, riches need it. But if either was to eat it, they would certainly perish. Wealth. Can't be wealth. The poorest doesn't have wealth. The riches or love. Uh, love. Hmm. When you eat love, you wouldn't perish, right? Wealth, no. Love. Riches doesn't need love. Don't need love. Everything. Nothing. <laughs> I don't like any of these if that is actually the correct one uh nothing would it be nothing if nothing riches the richest need it they need nothing and if either was to 
eat it. If they would eat nothing, they would certainly perish. Nothing. It's not nothing. Oh, you are correct. The mighty Kalak respects those with a most agile and quick mind. Okay. Let's not talk about the first question, though. Proceed across with my blessing. How we've gained experience. Interesting. I'm glad that uh, there was a second attempt. Genie. Huge dome. Let's investigate around. What's this? Shadow. We are being attacked by Shadow. So... Let's stay here. Minsk and Bull stand, stand Can we back use... For justice. Uh, and... Where shall I display our range attacks? Should I use magic missiles? Go hot, go if Weapon ineffective. Oh my god. So, as this is ineffective, uh, what we can do? Entangle. Did she deal some damage? Okay, she did. Uh, what's the status of Jahira? Oh, lowered strength. Yeah, I can't tell by the icon. Is the debuff... Oh, ability score drained. Drained, okay. Again, not really that familiar with all the rules. Okay, Jahira is going to be our slayer. Minsk, not effective weapon. Maybe let's try to change the weapon. Okay, now he's dealing damage. Ooh, that was critical. Okay, this is werewolf. Oh my. Give me some direction. Now, for sure. Let's use this. Use the ball. Okay, mains getting shredded there. Damage to werewolf mains. 11 damage to werewolf mains. Speak your mind. Nature as you would have it. Oh, because because of the strength, she couldn't move. Makes sense. It is done. Okay, two more werewolves. I'm waiting. Thinking if I should yes. conjure some um, creatures to help us. Uh, we are good so far. Okay, so werewolves and shadows. Interesting. Uh, it's it's good that she didn't like get. Uh, oh, hopefully can't get turned into werewolf by their attacks. Yoshimoto, weapon ineffective. So I'm wasting arrows there, so... Right weapon? Your mind. You more. 
Now we can go. It's just 420 for a kill. And we've gotten like 14,000 for answering that question. But that's quite a huge difference there. We can actually hear uh, lots of werewolves. Anyway, let's go inside this. Hey, what what it is? This tall structure would barely fit inside the promenade. Never mind within the tent you just entered. So it's bigger on the inside. Who are you? Oh, Irene. Whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost. Oh, please run. Is it really speaking that creature or the voice doesn't match? <laughs> who are you? Or whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost. Oh please run. What are you talking about? Who's killed everyone? How can a monster such as you have such a sweet voice? Exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> the dialogues are really good. I'm not going anywhere until I get explanation. Well, I don't have any option anyway. I'm not able to believe a foul creature such as yourself have at you. Perhaps you are right. I should go. So, who are you talking about? Who killed everyone? Kala. Hey. I don't know what he's done exactly or how, but everything here is an illusion. But it's magic that can hurt you if you believe it. Uh, but it's uh, magic that can hurt you if you believe in it. Okay, Kala, yeah, so we've met him, but he didn't kill us. We probably don't understand, do you? I don't know what he's done to the tent or with the others who have come in, but their deaths are real. You must run. Because who are you? How is the monster? Oh, so is it the mother of that boy? I'm not a monster, I'm an elf. Winked elf, or at least I was winked elf. Okay, this is this covering you see is some kind of illusion, but if you believe in it, then it becomes real. Okay, so does she believe in it, or do we? Please believe me now, go before something happens to you. I beg of you. I've never heard of a winked elf. What are you talking about? Yeah, I come from a race of winged elves, although there aren't many of us left. From the Sandabar Mountains in the far north. My wings were cut off a long time ago, though. Hmm. Maybe it's really an orc that actually believes he's winged elf. But, but that's not important. This place is too dangerous. Go back to the city and warn everyone that what's happening here. You must flee. I don't want to kill it. So, Kala, we know. Full explanation, yeah. Oh, I hope you don't end up like, like the others. But alright, my name is er Ari. I work in the circus with my uncle, Quile. I don't know exactly what happened. But everything changed a few days ago. Everything became chaos and turned into what you see here. Although it all isn't real, it's an illusion. The minions, they all say they serve Kala, so I know he's behind all of this. He's an illusionist in the circus. Okay, he was part of the circus as well. I don't understand how he was able to do all of this. He must be stopped before he hurts any more people. Please, if, if you release me from my chains, I can help you stop him. Interesting. Releasing. I don't see any chains on you. Why can I just dispel? That's a good question. 
I don't know, I tried earlier. And this first happened. Kalak's spells are too powerful somehow. He's, he's never been that good though. So I don't know what he's done. Yeah, don't see any chains. The chains are invisible, covered by the illusion. And, and they are magical. They prevent me from casting my own spells and they maintain the illusion which is placed on me. Okay, I'm probably being played, I don't know. Very well, how do you release... how... Uh, how do I release you? Okay, let's ask. You need the key to these chains, but, uh, but it won't look like a key. There are a couple of commoners in the north side of this chamber. Don't be fooled by the illusion though, they are monsters. They have a sword which is actually my key. If you get it from them, I can remove the chain and regain my normal form. I'm not sure if I should believe it, but please be careful. You can't trust anything you see here. Exactly, not even this one. Not even this one. So let's check out the rest of the room. So commoners are supposed to be monsters. What about the monsters? There is a spider. Uh, Anna, don't hurt me. Or what am I to do? Creature. I'm not a creature, or at least I never used to be. Not until the circus and everything changed. Who are you then? My name is Hannah. I came to the circus with my son. Oh, that's the mother. Although he didn't come into the tent with me, he's the clever one. Oh, please help me. How is that that you became this creature then? Uh, I'm not a creature. Who are you then? What exactly is going on? I don't know. All I know is that I came into the tent to watch the performance. A gnome came on the stage and began to perform some kind of magic act. A gnome. It was quite silly. It was obvious that whatever he the gnome was doing wasn't working. His magic fizzled and everyone started laughing. I thought it was part of the act, so I laughed too. And then everything began changing. People started transforming into creatures and then back into themselves. The world shifted somehow and I felt so sick and horrified. I think I passed out. When I woke up, I've been turned into this, into this monstrosity. I don't know what to do. My son didn't come into the tent with me and I'm frightened to think what may have happened to him. Or these peasants. <laughs> do you know where I can find this Kala? Uh, they, they are not people. They are vicious and dangerous. Okay, that's the second one that tells us this. I've seen them kill people. You must stop them. Do you know where Kala is? I don't. But that woman over there seems to know something about him. Perhaps if, if you talk to her. Uh, yeah. Still outside. He is? Oh, I will. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Let's not go anywhere. So... It's the peasant, right? The monster peasant. Pleasure slave. Welcome, lady, to Kalak's realm. Be thee not of impure mind, for surely old Kalak shall destroy thee. Be thee not of impure heart, Odor will surely destroy thyself. Kalak is the one ruler, the one true being. Who exactly is Kalak and where is this realm of his I have come to? Thank you for welcome and I shall most certainly be beware. I've come to see the circus, not some I half dressed start start spouting dire warnings. So yeah. Kala is beyond thy ken, mortal. He is the beginning, he is the end. He is our god and our king. Tremble before him and he may take pity on thee. I'm my own person and not this Kalak's possession. I've come to see the circus, so yeah, my own person. Bow before the will of thy betterest mortal. Kalak's rage is awesome to behold. Let not thyself be found in its path. Where can I find him? Worry not, lady, 
for Kalak has already found thee. Continue on thy path, if thee should find favor in Kalak's eyes, then thou shalt surely be granted an audience. Granted an audience, okay, so this would be going somewhere else. So let's check on these guys first. Okay, it actually attacked me. Really? Let's... Let's go, let's go. I don't want to be attacked anymore. And... What do we use? Okay, maybe an arrow. What's that? Hmm... Doesn't. It transformed to something though. Yeah, let's keep attacking me. Well, is this peasant? Well, I am ready. Yeah, hopefully, this one's not real peasant. Speak your mind. Let's kill it. Kill it with fire. Okay. So let's see if they had the key that was mentioned. So the special sword. Ogres one. Be doubly careful. Anything else? I'm sure all manner of stupid mouse traps await our toes in the dark. <laughs> yeah, that's why you are in a party. It will help I us to find the traps and all that stuff. Yoshimoto. You, you, you have the key. key. Give it to me and I can be rid of the illusionary form at last. <laughs> How much will you give me for it? A halt, I'm not about to fall for your trick. I'm not about to give a monster a weapon. As you wish. Well, she was telling the truth. So, let's see. I thank you for your trust. This sword is actually a key that unlocks the chain that powers my horrible illusion. Oh! It was... Oh! My hands, my skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Barwan. Oh, we must find Quail and stop Kalak before he does any more harm. Join with us and we will search for him together in this place. Wait right here, then I will go further into this citadel and will come back later. I have no intention of going further into this place. I've rescued you and that's all I will do. I'm leaving now. Well, that doesn't work, right? Let's join. You would let me join you? Alright, come, let's find Quail. Who knows what they've done to him. I think you should know, Eri, that my ultimate goal is to rescue a friend of mine, Imoen, who has been captured by the Cowlet Wizards. It could be dangerous. Well, we could tell her that. You should be aware, perhaps, that I'm hunting a very powerful mage named Irenicus. It will no doubt be a dangerous task. Oh, let's let her know. Oh, I will be glad to help you, truly I would. But we simply must help Uncle Quail first. He must. So... We have now... Eri. He's Cleric and Mage. So we have Fight Druid and Cleric... Cleric Mage. Hmm. Second Mage in the party. Not sure what to think about it. Uh, so she is using... Again, sling as well, so probably, yeah, nice. Um, and what's this? Studded leather armor. She can use it, but she has traveler's, traveler's rope. Bonus with missile weapons? Okay. Saving throw bonus versus breath. Uh, what does she do then? Oh, she has both kinds of spells as she's like cleric and druid. Interesting. 
protection from evil. This. Power word sleep. When wizard calls upon power word sleep spell, he causes a comatose slumber to come upon one creature, other than undead and certain other creatures specifically. The creature targeted must have less than 20 hit points and gets no saving throw. Five rounds. More bonus for attacking it. Okay. And this one is minor spell deflection. So deflection. The spell is cast against the wizard to be absorbed and consumed. It affects a total of four spells. Levels. Includes spells cast from scrolls and innate spell like abilities, but excludes the following era of effects that are not centered directly upon the wizard, as well as era of effects that are stationary, such as cloud kill and stinking cloud. As long as the spell is cast directly on the, at the wizard, it will be absorbed. The spell it will only affect up to 7th level spells, but if it tries to absorb a spell that goes over its limit, the spell will fail and the spell deflection will be cancelled. For example, if there is only one level left and third level spell is cast at the wizard, the spell will be absorbed while cancelling the spell deflection. And this one is slow. Done. Uh, which is minor globe of invulnerabil invulnerability. And uh, stow skin. Outer skin stone. Move from the ground, completely covering him. Uh, for every two levels of the caster. For example, and level wizard will receive five skins, while then for each skin, because this is the spell, will stop one attack. So tenth level wizard would be protected from the first five attacks. Okay, that's really nice. Uh, fire shield. I will need to check this out. And one that she has now is spell immunity. There is a protection from one spell school of her choice. After the spell is cast, the wizard must choose the school she wishes to be protected from. All spells of this school will not be able to harm or aid the caster for the duration of this spell. This includes all spells from this school, including any priest spells. Yeah, but you can't cast them as well. She has bless. Uh, Caster raises the morale of friendly creatures. Healing, healing, and sanctuary. It causes all of his opponents to ignore his existence, as if invisible. While protected by the spell, the subjects cannot take direct offensive action without breaking the spell. So we have another one that can heal us. Nice. Eight. Of this spell gains the benefit of a blessed spell and special bonus of additional hit points for the duration of the spell. Have more hit points than his full normal total. The bonus hit points are lost first. Nice. Cool. Like it. Can't. Priest brings special favor upon himself and his party and causes harm to his enemies. When the chant spell is completed, all attack and damage rolls and saving throws made by those in the era of effect who are friendly to the priest gain 1 plus bonuses, minus 1 bonuses. Uh, uh, silence, 15 radius. More healing. Uh, dispel magic, nice. Holy smite. On energy from the plane of brilliance in order to open a channel between it and the targets. The result is that any evil creatures within the spell effect take uh, damage for level of the caster. Okay, era of effect. Uh, greater healing. Negative plane protection. Okay, so now we are party of five. 
We are getting stronger. I think like now we are much much stronger. Because of this. Uh cool. So yep. This is the first session of getting back to Baldur's Gate. Uh it was more of like about okay getting to know the group again. We're remembering where we are, what we want to do. So now we've started this quest. And it actually is quite interesting. And behind this door, there might be some quite hard fight, who knows. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks everyone for watching and stopping by, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope to see you next time uh, during Baldur's Gate or a different game. So see ya.